Remember when we looked at the example for how a struct is stored inside EBM memory? We found out that 32 bytes was always used even if the data type didn't need to use 32 bytes. And for a fixed size array, this is also the same. For example, let's say that I have a fixed size array of type unt32. unt32 doesn't need 32 bytes to store it. However, when we're dealing with EBM memory, each element in this array will use up 32 bytes. And to show you this, I have a fixed size array of size 3 of type unt32. We'll use assembly to get each of these elements and then assign it to the variable a0, a1, and a2. So type assembly and the first element a0 will be stored in the initial free memory pointer. So this will be at memory location 0x80. M load to read from memory location 0x80. The next element is stored 32 bytes after 0x80. So this will be a1. Let's assign this to a variable a1 is equal to m load. So here we can say add to 0x80, 0x20. 0x20 is 32. And here we're telling skip 32 bytes. Or we can hard code this. If we add 0x80 with 0x20, we get 0x80. Okay, and let's get the last element. The last variable is a2. This will be 32 bytes after 0x80. And again here we can say add to 0x80, 0x40. Skip 32 bytes and then skip another 32 bytes. So this will be 0x40. Or we can hard code this by saying skip 32 starting from 0x80. So this will be 0xc0. Okay, this was an example of how a fixed sized array is stored in EBM memory. Next, I'll show you an example of how to write to a fixed sized array that is initialized in memory using assembly. So here I have a function called test write. I'll first initialize a fixed sized array of type unt32. Unt32, and the size will be 3. This will be initialized in memory, so I'll type memory, and I'll call it r. Next, let's use assembly to store some data into this array assembly. To store the zeroth element, there are several ways to do it. For example, we can say mstore r, and let's say for the zeroth element, we'll store the number 11. And we can do this since r is a reference. This r will be initialized starting at memory location 0x80. So instead of saying r here, we can also say 0x80. Next, let's store some number into the element at index 1, mstore. Again, we can say r, add to r, 32. So 0x20 and store the element 22. And like in the first example, we can replace this r with 0x80 since we know that this fixed sized array is initialized starting at memory location 0x80. And we can further simplify this by manually calculating 0x80 plus 0x20, which is equal to 0x80. Okay, and the last element, I'll copy this again. The third element, let's store the number 33. And how about the memory location? Well, again, we can say add to r. The element at the first index had to skip 32 bytes. The element at the second index will have to skip another 32 bytes. So this will be 64 bytes. And in hexadecimal, this is 0x40. And again, we know that this array starts at memory location 0x80. So we can replace this r pointer with 0x80. And lastly, we can simplify this again by manually adding 0x80 with 0x40 and this will give us c0. So far we stored at the 0th index 11, at the first index we stored 22, and at the second index we stored 32. Let's actually check this by using the regular solidity syntax to access arrays. So say r0, and we'll assign r0 to this variable a0. a0 is equal to. And I'll do the same for the rest of the elements in this fixed size array. a1 is equal to r1, and a2 is equal to r2. And that completes the example of how to store into a fixed sized array in EBM memory. Let's compile and run these functions. I'll hit Control S to compile the contract. The contract compiles. Let's now deploy this. And then we'll first call the function test to read. A unit 32 fixed size array of size 3 has the elements 1, 2, and 3. And we use the assembly to read these data. So let's call the function test read and we expect the numbers 1, 2, and 3. Next, let's call the function test write. What do we expect? Well, we stored 11, 22, and 33. So that's what we expect to get back. Call the function, and we get the numbers 11, 22, and 33. In this video, I'll show you an example of how fixed sized arrays are stored in EBM memory. Even when the data type didn't need 32 bytes, each element still used up 32 bytes.